Top 15 Low Maintenance and Independent Dog Breeds They say that a dog is a man's best friend. They are loyal and protective companions. If you're on the lookout for the best dog for you, then keep on watching. For this video, I will be listing down my top 15 low maintenance and independent dog breeds which are ideal for office workers or first-time dog owners. My primary considerations to qualify dogs as low maintenance and independent are their temperament, the amount of exercise and grooming they need, and their trainability. We are looking at dogs that can be left alone because they are highly trainable and do not cling to their owners. In terms of natural tendencies, I prioritized those that are either gentle and mild-mannered or those that have the instinct of guard dogs for your home, whichever you prefer. Finally, since we want low-maintenance dogs, grooming and exercise were taken into consideration. These are your hypoallergenic dogs that do not shed, or at least those that only shed occasionally or seasonally. Also, depending on your available space at home. I've included dogs that would be okay in small apartments with a few toys and regular walking time. And those that can play on their own in a yard with minimal supervision. Now, with those qualifications in mind, here are my top 15 low maintenance and independent dog breeds in no particular order. Number 1. French Bulldog. First on the list is the French Bulldog or the Frenchies. Stocky and short-coated, Frenchies are curious, mild-mannered, and sociable. They do not bark a lot and do not require frequent bathing. If you want to train Frenchies, food is a great motivation to win them over. While generally quiet, they get excited with new people, so expect them to greet with an in-your-face jump. As with other flat-faced and short-snout dogs, they find it difficult to breathe when it's warm and humid. So you have to make sure the room is kept at a cool temperature when leaving your Frenchies. Number 2. Shih Tzu. Shih Tzus are a dose of cuteness in your space despite not being very clever and a little slow. Their long hair may seem intimidating, but they don't shed that much. Regular brushing would be more than enough to ensure they look good. Aside from the basic training necessary to be left alone, it's quite difficult to teach tricks to Shih Tzus. Also, they're so well-behaved that you wouldn't even notice if they are sick. If you want these charmers, you have to pay attention to their health to be certain that they truly are okay. Number 3. Italian Greyhound. Italian Greyhounds are small greyhounds with long limbs, making them extremely agile. Despite this, they don't like running outdoors since they are wary of other dogs. Instead, they prefer their playtime at home and sticking with their owners. Tricks are something they enjoy and learn easily given the right reward motivation. With Italian Greyhounds, bathing isn't done frequently, but their teeth do need daily brushing. Number 4. Yorkshire Terrier. Yorkshire Terriers or Yorkies are among the most popular toy dogs for the decade. Aside from their adorable face, they are sociable, portable, and trainable. They share traits of being a watchdog and a companion dog. Their fur may be hypoallergenic and may not frequently shed, but they do need weekly baths. If you can't give them daily brushes, trimming their fur short is ideal. Number 5. Norwich Terrier. If you do not have enough space at home, but want a small dog that is smart and trainable for more than the basic housebreaking, Norwich Terriers are for you. They do not shed a lot and do not require daily brushing, but they do require regular exercise and playtime. Set up fences in your home and leave them with enough toys to stimulate their minds. With enough training, they will be okay with being left behind for around 4 to 8 hours daily. Number 6. Poodle. With poodles, you have three types, standard, miniature, and small. This variation in size provides you with more options in the breed depending on your lifestyle and space at home. Regardless of size, they are very smart so you won't take too much time training them. They love people though, so expect them to follow you around when you're at home. Give them the exercise they need by playing fetch or going swimming. They flourish in routines, so if you choose to raise poodles, make sure you keep a schedule. Number 7. Dachshund. Another breed that comes in different sizes is the Dachshund. They can either be standard or miniature. 
They have different coats too so you can choose depending on your aesthetic preference and your available time for grooming. Although small, dachshunds tend to become overweight, so you should be conscious of the amount of exercise they get, which isn't a lot. Also, since they are very independent and sensitive, they can be difficult to train at first. Always use positive reinforcement and reward system and keep them interested and you'll eventually get them to obey. Number 8. Chihuahua. Chihuahuas are probably the most independent and low-maintenance dogs you'll ever come across with. Occasional baths, little brushing, occasional shedding, and moderate exercise. They're little dogs with booming personalities. Often, they think they're bigger than they really are. Having said this, establishing that you're in charge is necessary. Once they recognize that, keeping chihuahuas will be infinitely easier compared to getting other breeds. Number 9. Pembroke Welsh Corgi. Pembroke Welsh Corgis grew in popularity because of their charming short tails. But aside from their adorableness, they have more to offer. They are quite independent. They love their owners and are highly sociable, but they are not needy. They may shed regularly, but they don't need frequent baths. They love playtime and walks, so make sure you dedicate time to exhaust their energies with regular activities. Number 10. English Toy Spaniel. English Toy Spaniels trace their roots in royalty, so although smart, they do get stubborn at first. Nonetheless, they are easy to warm to people and pets with their cheerful and devoted personalities. They're calm and gentle, so they can be left in the apartment on their own once housebroken and trained. Unlike other long-haired dogs, however, their fur isn't hypoallergenic, and they are prone to skin problems. Number 11. Brussels Griffin. Probably one of the most interesting small dogs in terms of looks and personalities is the Brussels Griffin. They come in two types of coat, either smooth or long-haired, which are both pretty low maintenance. They require minimal exercise too. Brussels Griffins are very smart so they are highly trainable. But they can be stubborn and sassy. While they are independent, it's best not to leave them for long hours a day. Their larger-than-life personalities mean they are affectionate with their owner, but they also hold grudges, so keep them company. Number 12. Whippet. Whippets are considered the poor man's racehorses when they were first bred. Nowadays, they are more known for their slender built, kind eyes, and attentive ears. Despite their roots as greyhounds, they are relatively smaller and are not barkers. They're very calm. In terms of maintenance, their short coat requires minimal care and sheds only occasionally. They love playing fetch, but regular walks should keep them fit. Number 13. Great Dane. In contrast to the small dogs we've talked about earlier, Great Danes come in big size, but gentle temperament. They used to be hunters but eventually became home protectors. While the instinct from the wild is there, they have become friendly and sociable family dogs. Grooming-wise, Great Danes are low-maintenance, but you have to monitor their exercise. They tend to be lazy, but that's not what they need. They can walk and even jog with you, so you can be physically fit together. Number 14. Border Collie. I know that a lot of people see Border Collies as family dogs or as dogs that need so much attention, but it's the opposite for me. Border Collies are some of the smartest breeds. There are reports of Border Collies understanding 200 to 1,000 words. They are sensitive, energetic, and friendly. I believe that once trained properly and given enough space to play and run, they will be fine on their own. Whether around people or alone, as long as Border Collies are taken care of and have a strong connection with their owners, they will enjoy themselves at home. Number 15. Japanese Akita Inu. Last on this list is the Japanese Akita Inu. Akita Inus are quiet, calm, and independent. They are easy to housebreak and enjoy having their own space. They have a reputation for being aggressive, but they are very smart. So as long as they are trained early on and are socialized properly, this should not be a concern. If you work long hours, Akita Inus are dogs that can be left alone without making too much noise and mess. There you go. 
15 low maintenance and independent dogs. I hope you're a step closer to finding a breed that suits you. Before we end this video though, I have a quick reminder. If you liked this video on what we think are the top 15 low maintenance dog breeds, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we release more videos like this. Let us know in the comments below if we missed a dog that you think should be on the list. Also check out the links below in the description to get access to some free dog training tools you can download and keep completely free.